what's Great Britain doing? Economic stimulus. Oh boy! Tony Blair. His face is kind of weird. And then United States, the American economy. Of course. That's probably very, very good. Oh no. <laughs> that's act it's actually pretty useless. Revive Detroit. Everybody knows that that's impossible. Developing Northern Italy, however, is possible. I'll get some infrastructure that is going to increase our uh, construction speed in these areas. So that's fine. And we still have a new political part at all. Israeli forces retreat from southern Lebanon. Obviously, they don't want to have anything to deal with Lebanon. Oh, well, that's an interesting face. And they have the Ba'ath Party. Really? I didn't know Lebanon was supposed to have the Ba'ath Party in rule. They have very low stability. Oh. The old guy died. Hafez. And he's alive now. You're still around, and what's that? Arab League member. Interesting. There's also the Arab League. I wonder if eventually um, there will be like focus trees that's that are kind of regional based, right? So you have a focus tree for all the African countries, and they uh, focus on the African um, League, or wait, what was it called? The African Union. No. Um, and then you have Northern African and um, well, I guess Northern African can have their own like little area which can go both the African Union or the Arab League. Oh, Syria insults Israel over the Golan deal. Of course, what could possibly go wrong, Syria? What could possibly go wrong if it's getting Israel mad at you? You'll, so, you'll certainly not get airstriked. Not at all. Okay, so... Yeah, it would be very nice if they added this kind of a feature in. And then, um, obviously, all the Arab countries over here would have Arab League things. Uh, obviously, Israel would have something to friends because, you know, don't want Israel um, having Arab things. Oh, Palestine is... Whoa! Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. What the hell? That's actually quite offensive to, you know, certain people. Okay, um, then we're gonna have... what? Aw. Now that we have the industrial bonuses, we've researched everything, of course. So we're gonna go over engineering, some more of that. Decryption algorithms. Modern detection devices. That's gonna increase the radar stations. Can't do any atomic or rockets. I wonder if this first the first rocket site is already like use, usable. Eh, 500 kilometers, not really. And not the second one either. So you again need to go to the third one to actually have usable missiles. Oh wow! Didn't know that increased rocket artillery soft attack. Interesting. And then we're gonna get some more encryption. We're just gonna focus on passive bonuses for now for some of these things. There's also corvettes and frigates we can do. Light cruisers were already quite well done. Oh, carrier nuclear reactor. Carrier advanced ramp systems? Yeah. So wait, um, we're producing carriers, right? But are any of these actually carrier serviceable? Okay, the attack, whatever the hell that means. Multi-roll is not... Interesting, I would have thought that the multi-roll would have been the plane that goes on a carrier. But it appears as if they have the... Attack plane going on carriers. That's weird. And it doesn't really make a lot of sense either. I mean, especially if... Hmm. Yeah, that's not good either, because there's only generation 4 attack planes. So, go to production. Yeah, it's the ground attacker. I think it's a bug. I think it's supposed to be the multi-roll. But, oh well. And 
and then we're gonna go in and I guess we can't research that then and we could not do artillery we could do modern generation free MBT if the fall of the Soviet Union is became highly unlikely that there would be any major large large-scale war so the MBTs could be redesigned and improved for better efficiency for what is expected of modern warfare interesting um, I would disagree, but again, I don't take this mod seriously, so. Oh, okay, we're starting to get ships. Excellent. So we have a fleet. We're just gonna call it, uh, I don't know, Marina, which is what the Navy is called. And we have admirals. Oh my god. So we're gonna get Giuseppe Di Giorgi, who is a skill too. And he does not look that old, interestingly. And oh boy, we have still the other. Germany pursues European policy. After several attempted boycotts from right-wing politicians within the German Bundestag, the consensus of the pro-European diplomacy won over in Berlin. German ambassador in our capital informed us that EU member states would not have to be afraid of a break in German alliance or the flow of profits for that matter. Hold on, let us continue developing our country while we do that. Uh, our, eco our economists and centrist politicians celebrate the German decision towards greater European cooperation, while na national and autonomous circles view it as a thinly disguised German imperialism. Euroskeptics across Europe already plan to discuss a common strategy to stop possible German expansion plans. And more child rapists, of course. Um, yeah, we don't. As much as role playing is fun, I guess we'll just role play for now. They'll catch them eventually. Because we're Italian, and we're, we Italians are good at catching people. Uh, not sure on that. Citation needed. Uh, you're gonna be a... Stability change. Aw. Damn it. Average stability. And that's bad. Okay. See, I wish that we could... The Kursk submarine disaster. Oops. I wish that we could actually, like... Uh, we're gonna have a green. Because Italy's color is green. Uh, all these greens suck, though. This is a good green. And then, yeah, okay. So... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, right. I wish that you could actually see, like, your stability level. Because if, if it was like Kaiserreich, where it was based on your political part, then you could always see it. Because from 0 to 100, that's just normal stability. Then 100 to 250 or whatever it was, it's good stability. Yeah, that would be nice if I could actually see it. But I'm guessing that... Hmm, okay. 2000 Sydney Olympics. Hi, Australia. Do you have a focus tree? No, you don't. And you have the Libertarians. Wow. Um, guaranteeing the independence of a few people. I see. Do you even have an army? You do. And you also have a navy. Wow. That's new. United States does not have a navy. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, the navies still have to be implemented in Millennium Dawn. Which is very unfortunate. Because then you have things like, you know... Everybody building up a navy at once, and then some countries not really being able to build up to their supposed strength. Prove the Adriatic port of Trieste. Yeah, I know. Fun northern industry where you require the improving of Civitavecchia. So we need to develop southern Italy, and our industrial capacity is growing by quite a bit, which is excellent. And now that we've improved our ports, we can build more in terms of ships. We'll first go with uh, the carrier. We'll just try to get that filled up, and we have insufficient resources. More steel. Thanks, Germany. Gimme. Wait, no. You liar, you cheat, you scum. German shits. Okay. He wanted to, like, charge me more. Wait, like, we're gonna miss... Yeah, look! Look! Look, game! We are at zero! Exactly equal, so why do you want me to pay one more civilian factory, you shit? Okay, now we don't need any steel. 
and we also really don't want libertarians to happen, and we also kind of like political power, so we'll stop that. Wonder how many of these events there are. It'll be interesting to see. Spirit firepower, yay! And then we can get modern generation free. Oh wow, ton of things, ton of things. Delay doctrine. This was over in engineering. So we'll get the radar station level two, I guess. That's doable. Still about a year away from the 2002 heavy equipment. Then I wonder what can we do down here? Cold War torpedo. Advanced ramp system and catapult are excellent because they increase our carrier deck size by 30%. Which is going to be great. And then we also kind of need transport ships to have the capacity to actually invade people. As you can see, the capacity to invade people is useful. Because if you don't, then Al-Qaeda will bomb you, apparently. And then we can get modern generation free main battle tanks, but obviously uh, we're going to have, you know... Can we rename you? Yes, we can. Or, hold on. Um, now I wouldn't mind some steel. Fine, I guess we'll take the political power and try to gain as much political power as possible for a while. Yeah, we can rename it. Uh, so we can call the tank what it is. Which is a Chiuno, I guess if we have to be. Oh, Bush. We'll check that out. Chiuno, if we have to be very Italian about it. Ariete. Which means, like, Tank 1 Ram. Which is the most retarded tank name I've ever, you know thought could be possible, essentially. And they're just developing the industry. So nothing weird happened from the United States yet. And they elected Bush, so I mean... Oh boy. Wonder if 9-11 will happen soon. Uh, I think it's actually scripted to happen exactly on 9-11. So, you're still there, and you're still lonely. Hold on. Let's get to production. Now we can send you both over to the actual Navy, instead of having um, yeah, instead of having you go to the port. That's going to be better. What's Germany doing? Restore trust in the system. Not really now. So you're going, like, conservative or what? Yeah, that's going to increase conservative and social liberals, so nothing strange for them. We must develop southern Italy to fix, to fix the poor state it is in. Yep. Pretty hard, pretty hard stuff. And then we're going to go with southern infrastructures, of course. Which is actually quite funny. Which is actually quite funny because there's a highway here that they're building, and they've been building that since like the 1960s, <laughs> and they still haven't finished it. It's also quite funny because there's a land bridge here you can walk across in um, Hearts of Iron 4, and there's like talks, there's been talks for like a hugely long time of a bridge, an actual bridge between these two straits, and that's also another funny topic. And okay, so Cold War transfer ships, that was very quick. Could go with some more IFBs. Because we're producing those, so having better ones is definitely not gonna hurt. And we need to like turn our mechanized brigades into actual mechanized and then have separate motorized brigades. Army Aviation Command. Well, that's exactly what you want to send into frontline combat now, is it? So how are things going with our troops? And with our logistics? We have way too much infantry equipment. We don't really need any more of that. We'll just keep one factory on it to keep the production going. But I think we can um, safely go to... 
producing tanks a little bit more. And now we need to get oil. Damn it. Oil from... Oil from Norway. How useful to have oil in Norway in the modern day. Instead of having to rely on... I don't know. Annoying countries like Romania. Then Chromium. Chromium is going to come from Turkey, of course. Carrier advanced ramp systems. That's good. And which one was the next one? Where are you? Catapult. Yes. You have ZSD. Oh, Kuchkan. Kuchan, sorry. You're still alive. Wait, what? Is this guy still alive? I'm not sure. Because this guy was the first pres. Was he the president or the prime minister? I think president of Slovenia when Slovenia actually declared independence from Yugoslavia. And that was like in 1994? 1993? Something like that? So the fact that he's still alive and kicking is interesting. I mean, a bit like how he's still kicking. This was the guy who declared Bosnia's independence. And this was the guy who tried to stop him. And I wonder... Oh no, okay. Here you have message. I do not know this guy. I wonder if there's an event for uh, Montenegro's separation from Serbia. There is definitely Montenegro as a state. Britain goes with Europe. The Prime Minister of Great Britain and Northern Ireland has today made an official statement in the name of the government that the European Union and by extension NATO would take preference over the Commonwealth of Nations in British foreign policy. A good choice, of course. Good, solid choice. So no Brexit for a while, it seems. Prove the Civ Civitavecchia port. And then we'll develop the islands and try to get down to um, getting a bit of oil in Sicily and Basilicata, which doesn't exist, and then getting some research going. We can also get continuous focuses, family subsidies. That's plus 5% monthly population. How is our monthly population? Uh, monthly growth, 99 recruitable. Not a lot. And, yeah, because we have a stagnant birth rate, which is not good. Modern detection devices, excellent. We're gonna get... Hold on. Ground support, fighter detection, air superiority, heavy fighters... No. Yeah, yeah, okay, fighter, heavy fighter. Yeah, I wonder if this would be useful in Millennium Dawn. Because of the UAVs, UAVs are awesome, and UAVs are technically tactical bombers. So they should get bonuses from this stuff. But, I, oh, tactical bomber, strategic bombing, and then air support mission efficiency. Those two are mutually exclusive. No, they aren't. Strategic bombing visibility... Bomber defense. Now I think I'm gonna go with ground support. Yeah. We'll obviously want to get all our doctrines underway for a while. We also have artillery. We need more mechanized or sorry, motorized and other things. Okay. Yeah, eventually the main way we'll get army experience is by going with the Army tab, military focus, does give you some army experience and more army experience down here. Army of quality. Starting level of new army leaders plus one. I didn't even know that was possible. That's interesting. Army of quantity, oh boy, that's much better. <laughs> that's actually much better. Because it doesn't really matter like how good your troops are because you can beat the AI anyway. It's just that with someone like Italy, if you go up against a lot of people, you just need more manpower. Don't care for light tanks, don't care for these IFBs because that's a little bit too early. So, I'm gonna go with the support battalions. But we've already got all of the support battalions, so it doesn't really matter. I guess we can start researching some of these things. Motorized rocket artillery has a crap load of soft attack in this. But it's extremely bad for some terrains, just jungle, forest, marsh, river, and amphibious. Oh boy, um, 
because of the river thing, it's actually very bad to go with motorized rock artillery, but if it wasn't, then I would do it right away. Okay, modern support weapons. And we're producing Generation 1 mechanized. Generation 2 mechanized, please. United States, what are you doing? North Dakota. Dakota access anyone? Okay, diplomatic initiatives. Oh, who are you going for? Oh, international trade deals. Annoying. Elections! Public elections are being held and the votes will be soon counted. All major parties are looking at one or another uh, to form up or antagonize in the government. Who could possibly win? Developers note the ruling party can defend the title if it has 20% popular support. Another party can take it if they have 30% more popular support. Should all the parties have below 20%, the ruling party will also win. Okay. So that essentially determines... Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So we can either choose FI, aka Forza Italia, or have more political power. Uh, just, just to show you, we'll have the elections and we'll lose and we'll get you yes 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 he's back uh <laughs> this guy's a funny person and everybody hates him so that this is bound to trigger someone and next elections are gonna be in 2006 and we'll just get rid of him in 2006 yeah this is the uh, prime minister of italy he's been well not now but he had been the prime minister of italy for quite a long time Fund the southern industry, fund the northern industry. Yeah, essentially, the main difference is that here you get fifth, uh, no, more like 40 oil, and then you can do some diplomatic initiatives in Africa, which probably give you some like foreign oil, quote unquote. Not quite sure as to how that works. And then uh, on the other side, you get this Northern Efficiency National Spirit, which is construction speed. I guess that's good, but it's really not that good. And minus 2% consumer goods factories, that's good, but not good enough. And to get these in the center, you get either of them. You can either go for education, which is minus 3% research, so you can get minus 5% research time in those two. Or minus 2% research time in these ones. And then you get to choose between 10% political power, which is good. Or 5% national unity, which is not good. But you get 3% more research decrease on that left side. And then you can get a research slot anyway. So we'll just do this. And we'll get a couple of civilian factories. Carry catapult, great. And then... Hmm, don't really care about subs for now. Artillery, a little too early. Yep, all these not really important, so we'll get some aircraft going as well. And we can get some resources, steel. Oh, um, it appears as if... No, okay, never mind. Said you won't be able to construct any buildings, but that's clearly wrong. And the Mafia is really fucking me up there, which is annoying. And then also civilian economy, of course, but there's only 3% world tension, so we can't do anything about that. Spain doesn't have Focus Tree, which is interesting. And Britain went with the European Union. And they're trying to strengthen NATO, of course. Uh, what is that? Go of Europe, strength, strengthen NATO, EU border compromise, and air travel agreement with Europe. Interesting. I wonder if that, uh, if we'll get, you know, events about that. Because it sounds like it would be interesting to see. What is Russia doing? Appease Chechnya. Really now. Uh, where are you? Oh, that is opposed to nationalistic sentiment. 
Chechenian terrorist attacks will continue. Oh, it looks like that's one of their sort of radiant events. I guess I'm gonna call them radiant, as in uh, random, they happen every once in a while. This will end the attacks of the Chechenian terrorists, and that increases communists. Interesting. So they could be going with one of these three. Yeah, okay, so this one requires nationalistic, this one requires a peace, and peaceful reform can go with both. And it can get into EU, which is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But I doubt that they will do that. They might go with the Red Menace, so we might have a Soviet Union rising again, which would be absolutely fun fucking hilarious. Britain supports NATO. The British government sent a military delegation to our Ministry of Defense. They reaffirmed support for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Their uh, reaffirmed support for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization will only help us. Yes, it will. We get the Sunrun Industry, and then we'll go with. I guess we could finish these. And the 10% polar power would be useful. Because. That would help offset some of our other problems. So we'll go with the 10% political power with the bureaucratic reforms. Sorry for the boredom of this whole part. Just wanting to check out the mod. Eventually we'll get into a war, but really, with Millennium Dawn, war sometimes is weird. So you'll get to see that. Soon enough, hopefully. Depends on the damn Russians, what they do. Uh, because China went for mm, peace fur. They went for the peace fur stuff. So, since they have the peaceful stuff, doesn't seem like they'll have... Well, they'll be stronger, definitely, at the end. Because they'll have huge alliances in Africa and East Asia, maybe even, too. But... Yeah, it depends on what they want to do with Taiwan, I guess, whether or not they'll start a conflict. And yeah, they went to a socialism with Chinese characteristics, so they are not going to go with a civil war. <laughs> okay. Dive bombing and the mobile defense doctrine. Excellent. It's insufficient resources, no, don't care. Okay, so I'm going to end it now, and I'll see you in quite a while with actually Millennium Dawn, because, again, as I said, this should be... Oh, we got a carrier. Um, as I said, this is going to be part of several different campaigns that I will be doing, just as a placeholder for a while, and I'm not sure which one the next one will be. It might be a Pomale de Luge, uh, or it might be the Great War mod, or it might be Weltkrieg, I do not know. One of them. So yeah, I'll see you then. And, well, obviously vote in the comments, you bitches. If not, Gaddafi will lock you up in a Libyan gulag. <laughs>